Hey guys, I want to talk to you today about something that I look at in life as the barometer of where your passions lie and what you really like doing, what you enjoy, and what you probably should be doing. And that barometer very specifically and interestingly enough is your motivation level. This is the way that I look about look at this and think about this now at this point in life. The amount of motivation that you have to do something, anything, is is truly a reflection or an indication of, like I said, the level of interest that you have in it, the, the level of passion, the the fire in your belly that you have to go out and do any one thing with your life. I was having a good talk with a friend of mine earlier today, and this really stuck out because this, these are thoughts that I've had for a long point in time, but just to put it into words and, and conceptualize it for people I think is helpful. One thing that really strikes me about this conversation is just looking back on my life. I think all of us as individuals, we, we have a way of clinging to things that maybe we really enjoyed earlier on in our lives or we're still at this point trying to convince ourselves that we still like doing and we you know we, we for some reason we have this like ego about us that's like you know well my identity was this for so long and i enjoyed doing this for so long and i need to just cling to that and keep doing it but ironically enough we find ourselves like as we go through life these things that once were very very interesting to us or we had a lot of motivation to do more specifically for some reason we get to these points in life where suddenly we're not motivated in the same way that we we used to be to do those same things and and you do kind of find yourself having a little bit of a struggle or, or an internal questioning maybe you know about why it is that hey you, you used to really like something and really enjoy something but now it's just like you know you get up out of bed in the morning and you're just not not that excited to go do it and it's something that i think relinquishing some of these interests or passions that we might have previously had there's there's this like i said there's this egoistic nature about it like we think we've got something to prove to like ourselves or somebody else or whatever the the situation might be we've got something to prove about why we still need to be doing this or should be doing whatever it is a job a, a task a hobby any number of things but the reality is that it's completely natural, normal, and okay to change things in your life. And we're, we as humans, we're constantly evolving and changing. And the things that might have interested you as a young person may no longer interest you anymore. And this could be, I, I, I really, this one really stands out, I think, for a lot of folks with their jobs and careers, because it, it is a part of their identity early on. And they, they might find themselves at one point in time down the road where they're just not enjoying what they're doing as much anymore. And it, and it is very hard to make a change under those sort of circumstances. But this, this of course, could be compared to, to any other little thing, like I'd mentioned before in your lives. But just all that I'm trying to get across to you today is to start looking and realizing that your motivation or lack thereof more specifically to do something is a direct barometer of of your your passion level for it and i really like to make the case that if you do realize that that is what you're going through or the thoughts that are that are going through your mind and you you are realizing yourself being less motivated to do any one thing i would really take pause and, and just take honest stock and have some deep thought about well, okay, I'm not motivated to do this right now, but think, you know, what am I motivated to do? What would I rather be doing right now with my time as compared to this this other thing that I'm no longer motivated to be doing? And, and those are really truly the things that you should gravitate towards is those things that you do have the motivation for because that is a direct indicator that you have a passion for something. And I think we all know that anything we do in our lives, be it a, a job or a... Um, you know, a relationship or a new hobby or a new thing to learn or something, we are going to just be better at it. We're going to do it better. We're going to enjoy it more. We're going to be a lot more happier going after those things that we're passionate about versus continuing to do things that we lack motivation and passion specifically for. We, we tend to do those things in a lot more... Um, just not as as good of a, a manner the end, end result or the end product the whole experience for us in general is not a positive one when we find those things in our lives that we're not motivated to do so i just challenge you to, to really think deeply if if you 
have had thoughts like this go through your mind, stop trying to convince yourself that you need to hang on to any one thing, whatever it is, you know, if you don't have the motivation to do it. And I challenge you to find ways to go out and figure out what those things are that you are motivated to do. Or you probably already know some things that you're motivated to do. You know what makes you happy. You know things that when you get out of bed you look forward to doing versus the things that you don't look forward to doing when you get out of bed. You know, there's there's a stark contrast between those things in our lives and just, yeah, challenge yourself, be a little bit brave, be courageous, go out, find and do those things that you find yourself really enjoying. I, I think it's just gonna bring a lot more happiness into your life and you are going to just plain out be better at life because you're approaching things, whatever you're doing, <laughs> from a deep sense of motivation and with a passion. That, that's really a recipe for just making amazing things in this world. Hope you guys are having a great day. We'll talk again real soon.